You're listening to Bible Truth Feed, a podcast by Christadelphianvideo.org for Christadelphians and all those seeking the truth about the Bible message. Join us now as we present our latest episode. Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 25th. Our readings are 2 Chronicles chapters 21 and 22, Daniel chapter 3 and Acts chapter 1. And our thought is, our God is able to deliver us. The friends of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, were in trouble. King Nebuchadnezzar, in his pride, had set up an image of gold 60 cubits, that's about 90 feet high, in the plain of Dura. Daniel chapter 3 verse 1. And he said, when you hear the sound of every kind of music, you are to fall down and worship the golden image. We read in verse 5. And if those who hear do not fall down and worship, they shall immediately be cast into a burning fiery furnace. Verse 6. Daniel is evidently not present, but his friends are in trouble as Nebuchadnezzar's servants report on their failure to obey his decree. The friends declare, Our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us. We will not serve your gods or worship the golden image that you have set up. Verses 17 and 18. In a sense today, the vast majority serve the gods of the flesh, and ignore their creator. Indeed, many say he does not even exist, that everything sort of created itself. What an insult that is to the creator. Is some sort of equivalent to the burning, fiery furnace in store for them? Twice through Jeremiah, that chapter 23, verse 20, and chapter 30, verse 24, this prophet is caused to write, The fierce anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has executed and completed the intents of his heart. In the days, in the latter days, you will understand it clearly. Our world deserves the fierce anger of the Creator. And when it comes, let us be among those who say, Blessed be God, who sent his angel and delivered his servants who trusted in him. Daniel chapter 3, verse 28. Ponder Jesus' words in Matthew 24 and verses 31 and 36. We might think this all happened thousands of years ago, for Daniel is lost in history. But Jesus refers to the prophet Daniel and what he predicted in Matthew 24, verse 15. And Peter, in his last epistle, was caused to write, The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. What sort of people ought you to be in lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God? Chapter 3, verse 11 and 12. In that day, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us, and do so because we have become the sort of people he will seek to deliver in that day. Let us ponder the three verses of Zephaniah chapter 3 as we conclude our thought. And we thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day knowing that that word that we open before us is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.
Thank you for joining us. We hope you found the episode helpful. Don't forget, most of these episodes are also available as videos on our video channel, cdvideo.org. So head over and take a look. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, please get in touch or leave us a voice message. We love to hear your feedback. You can email us at btf at cdvideo.org. If you enjoyed the episode, then please share it with others. Until next time, may God bless you in your studies and your walk towards God's kingdom. Amen.